guys welcome back to my channel my name is Rosanna so in today's video I just wanted to share a few things with you so that is what we're gonna be talking about today but before we get into that video I would love 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 for you to subscribe to my channel you can ring the bell it will give you notifications of when I post which is every Tuesday and every Saturday so yep like make comments tell your friends subscribe help a newbie out I would so so appreciate your support and thank you so so much for helping me grow this channel and now without further ado let's get started first things first I'm still so freaking nasally I just can't get rid of this nasaliness if you will my eyes are so stinking puffy but whatever mm, look who's here bachelu hey bachi you're my best friend oh you're my best friend but anyway i wanted to share some um things with you that i picked up recently um a girl i picked up the rose and ben some of their um brushes i actually just put in another order because i thought i lost a brush but i found it but anyway so i'm so excited to try it i did pick up the c42 that's the foundation brush and then i picked up um the c28 and the c27 i thought i lost the 28 i'm like doggone it i really wanted to do this video with some new things that i picked up um but then i found it but that's okay because i we're gonna have two also i grabbed the elf Jennifer Coolidge um, Dirty Pillows Lip Kit. I don't know who the heck I saw it on. I want to say maybe Michaela. I'm not even sure, but I was like, that looks beautiful. So I grabbed this. I also went to TJ Maxx and Home Goods of the day. I'm trying to do a video on that trip. I'm not really sure when it's coming up and in what kind of sequence. But anyway, girl, I found these Jacqueline Cosmetics Luminous Powders there. This It was for... $9.99 so I picked up brighten up no friggin clue we're gonna definitely try that and then a couple weeks ago I was at Ulta girl don't go to these doggone places so close to Christmas but anyway I was there with my sister and girl like I'm not really like a, I'm not really like a numbers girl I don't do like astronomy astrology I don't I don't really do any of that stuff but you know if you guys don't know my mom passed away let's see as I'm filming this, it's Thursday. Tomorrow will be 10 weeks. But anyway, her and I made a pact. I'm like, Mom, in a billion gajillion years from now when you die, let's make a pact that I know that, you know, you're watching, whatever. Anyway, so, and I wanted something like specific. Like when I when we were talking, it, it really isn't specific. But in my brain, I'm like, no, it's specific. Anyway, I said, shoot me down like 11 cents, like a dime and a penny, blah, blah, blah. So let me know. Girl, I'm here. I got you, whatever. And that was, of course, you know, 10 weeks ago she died unexpectedly. But anyway, girl, I've seen 11-11 all over the place. But, like, all over. It's, like, so freaking freaky. And, again, like, I don't really... 11-12-3-3-5-5. I don't... But, daggone it, they are all over the place. I saw this freaking palette. I'm like, are you shitting me right now, Mom? Are you? I had to get it. I had to get it. So, we're definitely going to use this. This is the ColourPop... 1111. I have no friggin' idea what it's about, what it is, and when did it come out. Is it new? No friggin' clue. So that is what we're going to be doing today. As a matter of fact, let me just pull back one second. I just want to get some tape and I'll be right back. Okie dokies. Anywho, so this is it. This is the ColourPop 1111. This is what made me think of this video. But anyway, so I figured, um, let me just gather up everything I picked up and we can do a video together i'm like so super excited so this is what it looks like right over here the packaging it is beautiful like i, ca I can't i am i i just can't sister Ooh, that is so pretty it's a pretty cool toned palette i'm sure you have these in your stash i'm pretty positive i do but i could not pass it up i could not believe 11 11 girl I am going to go in, you know, light to dark, although I will tell you this, I watched Lisa J the other day, and she had on Sean, I can't remember his last name, he, let me look him up, he is the global director of education for Jane I. Ardell, and he did her face, and she kept on saying, like, all the colors seem to blend in together, there's no, like, beginning or end, it was so freaking beautiful, his name is sean town and his um, instagram handle is the neck up he's the global director of education and artistry for jane iredell i was like mesmerized i'm like and she's mesmerized i'm mesmerized but anyway i'm bringing this up because he said like a lot of people go in with like their lightest color and they go all over the eyelid but he said you just you should go in with like 
like a like a normal color like maybe like this one right over here all over the lid so then you could go lighter and darker he said if you go with the whole and that's what i normally do for my eyelashes to eyelids like the lightest color that i build he goes if you do that like the darker color like the pigmentation of the darker colors don't come out as dark as they should i'm like okay so i really want to try that my brushes are dirty but what else is new oh wait before we start sister i'm gonna open up the rosenben e28 and in this next order i did grab another 28 because i thought i lost it and i grabbed the 29 and i grabbed sheila that's like her little um towel that she uses um now this is more like of a packing brush so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just take one of the BK Beauties, this is the 201, nice and fluffy. I'm gonna clean it, cause you know, it is dirty. Watch, I wish you were like in the picture better, cause you are like a cutie patootie. I'm just using this little doohickey here, just to take stuff off. And I guess I'm gonna go in with Lucky Babe right here. This is the second lightest color, cause I really wanna go in with this one right over here. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna just tap a rooney and I'm gonna just use this color. It is so pretty. From eyelashes to eyebrow, there's nothing there, but damn, it's pretty. I'm going to try and keep this down, sister. I understand. This is really beautiful. It's a beautiful color. So subtle, but you could see it beautifully. Okay, that is so super pretty. Not a big deal. I'm going to go in with the Rose and Ben. This is, like I said, the E28. She pats. I love her. I love her. I'm going to go in with... Um, protection over here and then i'm gonna try and use maybe perfect harmony you know girl light to dark so i'm good she does the tapping motion so i'm gonna use protection i loaded the side of the brush and i'm gonna start tapping Okay, then I'm going to take her other brush. This is the E27. I think she said this, these were the numbers of her parents' race cars. I guess they raced cars. So 27 was her, the number of her father's uh, race car. And then 28 was her mother's. This one's a really nice, interesting brush. Look how cool that is, right? And I think I'm going to take like the darkest color here called Divine. Oh, girl, you're brave. It's got a little bit of a shimmer in there. I don't know if you could see that. This is a very beautiful palette. And you know, girl, you know I'm a cool palette kind of girl. So I just took that. And she uses this like to carve out sometimes. And you really have to get used to like that tapping motion. Because I'm like a, a windshield wiper girl. But she taps and her looks come out so damn beautiful. Okay, that's really pretty though. Damn. Okay, girl. I'm going to go back in with her other brush. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to go in with the original brush. And I'm going to just take the, that lightest shade called Good Thoughts. Oh, I like that. Good Thoughts. Lucky Babe. Divine. Protection. Perfect Harmony. Right Path. Empowered. Anyway, I'm going to take that light color. And I'm going to just take it up to the brow. And then start blending all this in. But anyway, Sean, you have to go look at that video. I'll leave it down below. He is, I mean, I know, I know he's a professional, but I'm, I'm like, her makeup was flawless. And Lisa does great makeup on her own. It was just beautiful. This is so gorgeous. Okay, then I'm going to take um, a shimmery color. I think I'm going to take um, this major change right over here and put it on my lid. And I think I'm going to do manifest it and put it maybe on the outer corner. I like to use my fingers. So that's pretty. So this is major change. I'm going to put that on my lid. Ooh, that's really pretty. That's really pretty. That is beautiful. Ooh, that's so nice. I think I'm going to go in. Yeah, so I'm going to go in with Manifest. And that's this color right over here. And I think I'm going to just tap it like right here. Ooh, that's pretty. That's really nice. Okay, I think there's a nice uh, total angel here. 
and it's really really shimmery like that shimmery white i think this bk beauty 209 what i want to do with it i think i'm going to just put it on the lid like right over here just to brighten this up right here i don't want to do an inner corner yet because we didn't do any concealer and you know what i think i put a little bit right underneath the brow who am i i know who am i okay that came out really nice right mm-hmm super de duper nice let me just take off these so so nice whoops so so nice look how nice and sharp that is oh god michaela you cracked me up i'm gonna just use my finger i don't like that actually you know what i think i'm just gonna go in with that original brush and just blend this in because i don't like how i don't like those lines that's really freaking pretty wow that is so so nice i'm gonna go in with um a different concealer i know i've been using the natasha denona five million times but i'm gonna go back to um the IRL filter, the Makeup Revolution, and this is in C3. I know it's really light. I'm gonna just put it on my hand, just like that. And I have been really loving um, these Anissa Beauty brushes. First of all, they're friggin' gorgeous. This one in particular, I think it's so soft and delish, so I'm gonna just pat this on with my finger first. My eyes have been so puffy. I mean, I know, I've been going through a lot. I think it's just like the lack of sleep. Obviously, I've been, haven't been slept well in a good while, but like I can feel my face very full, like my sinuses. And of course, it exacerbates it right underneath the eyes. Damn, I have forgotten how delicious this concealer is. That is so, so nice. Love that. Okay, let's dive into the C24, this brush. This is her foundation brush. Oof. Yeah, that is so soft what um, I like about it you can pair it with a liquid cream or a powder but what I love about it when she uses it is that like none of the product stays in the bristles it just goes on your face so you use less product I'm so excited about that so I'm gonna just use um, the Maybelline super stick because I know I I know how this product works it's a 24-hour skin tint in 118 I think I'm gonna do what she says like she just usually oh I love her she's just like grabs it from here and tap 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 taps and make sure like there's nothing on there it's really embedded in the bristles so let's just try it and she does a tapping motion mm-hmm I'm gonna do one side out of curiosity and I like that she has like this angle to it so if by chance you do your eyebrows beforehand which i don't but if you do you won't take your eyebrow product off okay so i don't know if you could tell let me take this down the neck damn that is so pretty hmm i like it i like it i like it i like it this is a beautiful beautiful brush wow huh that's beautiful right so this is what it looks like i even brought my um my sponge i don't think i need it though you could still see a little bit over here but i'm not looking for like full coverage i just wanted to really use this brush and like and there's nothing left on the brush look at that there's nothing left hmm that is so nice wow that is a nice looking brush. Okay, cool. Let me just set the under eyes. Oh, and another thing that um, Sean said, because there were a couple questions coming in, and he said, like, you know, some of the questions were like, well, how do you keep your, um, how do you keep, like, your under eyes from creasing? And basically, he said, just use a tapping motion. He said, just like you um, touch up your lips in the middle of the day or during the day, you need to touch up your concealer he said just tap he said just tap the lines out don't add more products like powder on top of it and everything he goes just tap tapity tap tap i'm like that's what i'm gonna do i grabbed the one size this is the one size ultra pink powder and i'm gonna do that for underneath my eyes and i think this go around i just grabbed the mini girl because you know i don't like powder and i think i'm going to just use the bk beauty 113 it's more 
flat it's got like a flatter surface and I'm just swirling I just want to set my under eyes with this mm -hmm. that is so damn pretty okie dokies very, very good okay so I'm gonna just speed up the process until we get to the highlighter nothing new but um, I just did um, a bronzer declutter I will leave that link below and I'll see if I can put it in the cards I think I know how to do that I'm not really sure I grabbed the Patrick Todd because I haven't grabbed him in a minute so I have that and then I have the Jane Iredell blush anyway I'm gonna just speed this up you know everything that I use will be linked below you know that girl That is so so pretty oh you know what let me just finish the under eyes now that we set you know i love a shimmer girl you know i love a shimmer so i'm going to use this divine again and use it as like a liner with my absolute favorite little liner brush in the whole wide world this is the bk beauty 208 and then i'm going to use a fluffier brush like this bk beauty this is the 204 and i'm going to mix like empowered with a shimmer there's and balance That's really, really pretty, right? I'm gonna take this other BK Beauty. This is the 210, and I'm gonna go back in with Total Angel, and I'm going to just use that in my inner quarter. Damn, that's pretty. Wow, that is so nice. Ooh, just saw Allie Glein do like a nice winter. That is so pretty. Winter look, oof, that is really, really nice. Okay, I'm loving the face. I'm just gonna go in real quick and spray with the uh, Benefit Professional Super Setter. I love this mist. Ooh, that is so pretty, right? Okay, let me just finish my eyeballs. Speedy Gonzalez, let me just speed it up real quick. Oh, and, and my eyebrows, and my eyebrows. These eyes are beautiful. Oof, so, so nice. Okay, let's get into this. I don't know even know what the hell it is. Jacqueline Cosmetics. Let me look it up. Let me look it up. Okay, her luminous powder. Which one did I get? Brighten up. Brighten up. Um, hello. This is originally $32. It's on sale at her on her website for $16, and I got it for $9.99. Let me see. Bring out... Oh, I'm scared. Bring out the inner glow with this magical luminous powder infused with diamond and rose quartz powder. The multi-purpose formula blurs imperfections, enhances your complexion and delivers a radiant finish um, brighten up is an iced peachy glow tips and tricks use as a finishing powder all over the face to get that lift from the oh i'm scared sweep atop of collarbone shoulders for luminous okay you know what i'm going to just use as a highlighter for now so let me just open up this little lover i love her products okay so this is what it looks like right over here and now that i'm looking at it okay see how sneaky you are but yeah you got to be careful this says brighten up and under here it says lover boy you sneaky son of a gun. That's why you have to be careful with what you buy. So I'm going to think I'm going to return this because this is downright orange. But now that I'm thinking about it, I think I have one of these brightening powders. Hold on a second. Okay, that is so freaking annoying. But no, I, I should have opened it. But I don't have it. But I do have this little mini one. These are her loose um, highlighters and I have it in extra. So let's just use that for the highlighter which you know it's blinding it's 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 jackling you know it's blinding and yeah look how freaking beautiful that is look at that that is so pretty oof that is so nice look how beautiful Ooh. that's gorgeous okay let's get into this lip product i'm so excited so this is what it looks like right over here 
Ooh, that's so beautiful. Maybe it was Allie Glines. I can't even freaking remember who used it, but I was like, the minute I watched it, I'm like, I need it. Jennifer Coolidge is so, by the way, it's out of stock. She is so damn funny. But anyway, so this is um, a get dirty for the holidays. This Lux Elf um, and Jennifer Coolidge limited edition lip kit. Let me just see what it has here. It's a trio of pal plumping essentials. Oh, and a mirror created with Jennifer Coolidge. It's a satin lipstick in rosy pink. And then they have the gloss in a creamy light pink, which I love. I love like that milky look. And then the liner is a neutral brown. Oh, let's open it. I'm so excited. And I'm really sorry that it's out of stock, but I'm going to link it anyway, girl, because you just never know. You never know. So this is what it looks like right over here. So beautiful. Ooh, that is so beautiful. I feel like I have a PR package. Elf, I'm just saying, if you're listening and you want to send me some PR packages, I'm not going to say no. I'm not going to say no. Look how gorgeous that is. Ooh, let's try everything on. I just have some City Lip Clear lip balm on, which I love. P.S., there's always a discount code below for City Lips that they were so generous to offer me, to offer to you guys. So great. This is the mirror. Okay, I love this. This is so freaking pretty. Look at that, how nice, right? And it says, lips are the mirror to your soul, elf. Ooh, that is so friggin' pretty. Oh, and it's magnified even better. So then I don't have to keep doing this to people. I could just go like this. Oh, I love this. And it's pretty sturdy, very heavy. And then here is um, the lip smack and stick. Ooh, it's so pretty. Here's the lipstick. Love the packaging. This is what it looks like. Let's watch, shall we? I'm going to put it right over here. Oh, that's pretty. Now, I know this says, what was this, like a pink? This looks peach to me on my skin. Very pretty though, right? So that is that. Here's the lip liner. Full frontal lip liner. Cream Glide lip liner. So let me just, and it's like a downright old school pencil. I'll put it right next to it. Oh, that's friggin' pretty and creamy and delish. That is so nice. I think it's going to go beautiful. With the P.S., Sean also said, here's the gloss. He also said, it's perfectly fine to mix and match cool tones and warm tones. You don't have to be matchy-matchy all the time. I said, okay, I'm going to do it when this is the gloss, even though it's like just a gloss. But I don't know if you could see that. It's got like that nice milky hue. I'm so excited. Let's finish off the face. Nope, I'm going to use this. I'm going to use their own mirror. Hmm. Very creamy, very creamy. Just blended it in with my fingers. That is so pretty. Wow, this lip liner is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Going in with the lip smacking. Mmm, that is so creamy. Wow. That is beautiful. This looks peachy on me. I'm not mad at it. It is beautiful. Let me put the gloss on top of it. Yeah, that's beautiful. Look how beautiful. Ooh, that is gorgeous. Let me just finish off. I always like to put a little bit of extra blush on. Look how pretty that looks. Wow. You know what? I'm going to just, uh, I'm a little bit shiny on the forehead. So what I'm going to do is, if I was it, where would I be? I'm going to just use the LYS, the pressed powder. This one is in translucent. And I just want to tap where I just feel like a little bit shiny right up here. So right up here. Look at that. This is a great powder. I'm going to go down the bridge of my nose, mustache. You know, the T-zone girl. Right here. Oof. So that is it. This is my video of some products that I wanted to share with you. I love this palette. It is beautiful. So, look at that. It is so magical. Beautiful. Um, the Rosenben brushes. Where's the other one? I don't know where it appeared. It is right in front of your eyeballs. These are great, especially this foundation brush. It's great. I have to read up more on how she uses it, even though I watched it a million times. So, so nice. And this is beautiful. I love this trio. It is gorgeous. I'm really sorry it's out of stock. And the mirror, excuse me, and the mirror. Totally, totally disappointed in this, you sneaky snoop doggy dogs. This is not what's in there. I'm definitely going to return that. And um, yeah, so this is it. This is my video. What do you guys think? I think it came out so freaking nice. Hold on a second, please. 
Ooh, it looks so pretty. It looks so, so nice. So anyway, so that is it. This is my video. Thank you so, so much for sharing your time with me. And as always, you guys be good to each other. Love each other and have a great, great day. Bye.